Today what we're going to do is uh, get on with the Wonder Boy cocktail uh, that we picked up a little while ago and remember we said that there was some really nice wood grain under the paint. Why did they paint it black with silver? I mean I guess you know during the 80s or you know in the 90s that old wood grain look started looking a bit 70s <laughs> so <laughs> well 70s 80s i guess so i guess they wanted to freshen it up and make it look a little bit more modern black and silver still we want to get it back to that beautiful wood grain so we're going to get stuck in today and get that done we might change over the controls as well get some new controls on there and the main aim of the game today is to get all that sorted uh, get the legs painted black get the control pan uh, panels painted back black how they should be clean off all that other black paint to get the, the wood showing through and then we'll just get it working with wonder boy and that'll be stage one guys and then next time what we'll do is we'll get that screen around um, so that it's in a vertical orientation we'll whack in a uh, raspberry jammer and then we'll get all the classic cocktail games running on that machine got lots to do let's get into it let's get cracking okay so let's remove this top panel and all we need to do there is uh just going to unscrew these uh, nuts on here on both sides and uh, and then we can just sort of take that off uh, from both sides you've got to be careful of course this is pretty heavy so when you take these bolts off you've got to got to balance it they'll still stay on this lug here but yeah, just got to be careful it doesn't slip off and fall off backwards. It's only being held on by the support brace, which is just hooked in under the wood there. And look at this, guys. I did notice that that, that screen, which I, I do believe it really looks like a new tube, it's not even bolted in here. So <laughs> watch out for things like that. Gosh, look at this beautiful, <laughs> beautiful wood grain finish. <laughs> That's what we want to see on the front, on the top. So yeah, I'll get this up on the tripod. Let's get these uh, nuts off and get this top off. And the next thing we need to do is just take off these edge clips that will release the glass underneath so we can take the glass off. And look at that, guys. That's what it's going to look like, hopefully, once we get all the... Uh, black paint off. So anyway, let's get these clips off and the glass off. And put the glass safely to one side. Right, so now with the tabletop removed, we can remove the control panels because we want to get those painted up as well. And I can see, I haven't taken this apart before, but I gather I need to take these two wing nuts off here to release the front panel. Interestingly, on this side, there's just some screws in here. So I think those are probably supposed to be uh, the wing nut variety as well if it was out on location but um, anyway we'll take out those on both sides open this panel up we'll have to disconnect the wiring and uh, and then get this panel off so let's do that now right that now folds down a lot like uh, the control panel on the missile command uh, cabinet that I've got so we just need to take these uh, nuts off here and the belief underneath here and uh, just the th just the three <clears throat> and that'll take that whole side piece away we don't need to take off the bottom panel you're not going to see that or, you know the or the underside of it so that bottom panel can stay there and to get the joysticks out we just need to disconnect this molex connector
Right, that side is off. So I'm going to repeat the process on the other side and I'll be back in a minute. Right, so both control panels are out. And you can see they actually have it punched on both sides so you can, you know, switch the panels over and just put the buttons where you want them. We will have to remove all these buttons obviously before painting, so we'll just obviously screw these out here and uh, take these nuts, four nuts off the uh, joystick here, take that little clip off half moon clip off the back there and that'll allow the joystick to slide through the front so we'll do that after when these are ready to paint and we'll take the um, the bottom legs off after we clean this up because it's all nice and stable at the moment on here and when we take those legs off we're going to have to put something under here to jack it up keep it stable and then remove the legs um, that might make this a little bit unstable for cleaning so let me get all this off first but i think before we do this side let's get on to the top and remove all that black paint let's get into it so i want to talk through this part guys started off with the old oomph here to get this paint off and uh, this was a lot of hard work and scrubbing so this is sped up 20 times and you can see that i'm you know, I'm, it looks sort of easy, I guess, when you look at it at 20 times speed. But yeah, this was really, really hard. I was using that magic eraser and um, it, it was struggling a little bit, to be honest. Um, it wasn't coming off as easy as I thought, but of course it was coming off cleanly, so that was a good thing. So I persevere, guys, but um, I, I had some headphones on. I was listening to Frankie Goes to Hollywood album welcome to the pleasure dome good classic back in the 80s and i listened to the entire album twice to complete to complete this so that's how long in real time it took <laughs> to get all this off but it was the right way of doing it you know i was sort of zoning it. you can see me there just sort of doing a, a bit of a strip and then sort of working my way up and i found it was certainly um a good way of doing it sort of to cut cut in a bit make a bit of a channel and then uh, then the paint sort of got a bit of an edge to it um, but it certainly wasn't impacting on the veneer underneath which was absolutely fantastic you know I was getting no no scratches at all um, from the magic eraser uh, it's just was just yeah really time consuming and um, you know I was wearing the gloves there but in fact my finger was wore and my thumb wore right through those gloves um, they were bare anyway, so <laughs> my hands are okay, so you know, it was just a bit of a precaution you're supposed to wear safety gloves with that oomph stuff, that's quite strong, but I had no problems with the hands after, so that was sweet, but uh, yeah, just watching this back again, I just remember how hard and difficult uh, this was, but look at the colour, and you know, and in some ways it looks like it's been preserved with having the paint on it you know who knows, who knows how long it was but um until that paint was put on but clearly you know the, the wood underneath wasn't faded or anything so it's come up like new so really really happy really happy i did it but wow that was an effort absolute effort here i am just going around the outside the last little edge dying here <laughs> uh, but just in the zone that last little bit always the last always one little bit you can't get off it took ages just that last little bit and there you go oh that one final strip around the outside i think i must have taken a little breather um i took a few breaks i think as i was doing it on with a simple green just to get rid of uh, any of the residue from the oomph that may be still left on there clean that off and uh that's yeah, looking pretty shiny and then finish off with uh, some beads wax polish just to give it that finishing touch and yeah really really happy with uh, with that not too much of a mess a little bit of uh, black there put some sheets down so just you know tumbled that back up into the bin and it was all good there we are and there you have it look at that <laughs> i just put the glass just temporarily on top 
just have a look. In fact, I haven't even cleaned the glass, but wow, look at that wood grain come up now. So that looks really, really good. And of course now, the next thing to do is these sides. So I'm gonna move this outside there in the hallway, because it's still pretty hot today outside, so we'll do it inside. So I'll get in the hallway and let's get that final bit of black paint off and we'll have all this sorted. Let's do it. And here we go again, and this time onto the sides. And actually, I found out that those side panels actually are, are, are separate. I could have actually just taken them out. See the four, four bolts there? I could undo those four bolts, and that whole, just that side bit comes off. Um, and I did see that when I started doing these sides, but I thought, you know what, it's actually having the weight of the machine, um, even though doing it up on an angle was a little bit harder, I think, than on the floor with the top shelf. I think that this still um, worked well because it anchored the machine as I was scraping this off. And because it was such a, you know, it was a smaller piece of wood to work with, it would have been sliding all around the floor, guys. So this was, uh, this was better in the end. Just trying to cut into the paint there and uh, make it easier for it to come off. And yeah, I, you know, it, it was pretty much the same sort of effort that it took uh, for the top. It was a little bit less. I think overall I played the whole Ice House album twice, The Primitive Man. You guys know the, that, that album, fantastic album. And again, I just uh, I zoned out, but you know, the, the, the paint was sort of coming off in the same ways. It seemed to be a little bit thicker on the sides, probably because the way people or whoever spray painted it would have uh, maybe, you know, sprayed in and out from the outsides. Um, but it all came off and uh, and look at that finish. It's just a Y paint over that. Beautiful. Simple green goes on, bang, bang. And then uh, we finish up with the beeswax uh, polish. Spit it round and finish off this last side. So, <laughs> really rewarding in terms of the, the final finish and somewhat gratifying even just watching this and <laughs> seeing it appear underneath the paint. A little bit thinner there, the paint on the side came off a little bit quicker. Um, still a long time if you slow this down in real time. Um, but yeah, you know, to see that come up, it really uh, is satisfying. But wow, that was really, really hard work. So if you are going to take off paint like this, guys, just realise that, you know, it's a good two, two and a half hours worth of work. Um, each, you know, for those, if you, if you look at both, that's so about four hours work all up, but great finish. Simple green goes on, on, on with the beeswax, and then we're done. Right, now we got the sides done, guys. I've got this jacked up onto some bricks, and then we can take off these side legs. Let's get them painted black along with the uh, control panels that I've already removed. So I'll get on to that now. Right guys, well I got the parts all painted up and uh, as you can see I have the cabinet legs back on or with the painted black legs and you can see this thing dropped to the ground. <laughs> How low is it now? Now that it's in its new setting, but that's exactly the right height that I would like it. And uh, it's reduced its presence in the room somewhat and of course look at all that. Beautiful wood in the black, it looks great. I've got all the control panels painted as well, of course. All right guys, so I'm gonna get on now and obviously I've gotta take all the wiring, the wire, original wiring harness that we had off those ones there. 
I'll get them rig up, rigged up to the servo sticks, get the new buttons put in, get that all soldered up. No point showing you all that. You've seen people do soldering again and again. So let me get all that stuff done and then we'll be ready to stick this panel back onto the uh, cocktail machine and we should be close to being done. So I'll see you in a moment. we're done and look at that guys it's just how much better is this <laughs> than what it was wow that fan is noisy though we're definitely gonna have to fix that fan when we get into the insides but look at that glorious wood and now we have our new controls set up and uh, what a sensational looking machine this is now. So happy and so glad that I managed to pick this up. All hidden under all that awful paintwork. And now they've got a beautiful original Hankin cocktail, which looks just sensational. Definitely needs to be, I think, a water-based paint. I think if you had an oil-based paint, if someone's, you know, sprayed black with that, it'd be really difficult to get off. So uh, I think this was a water-based paint, and it came off, as you saw, relatively easy. <laughs> but it was still a lot of hard, hard work. But so worth it, guys. So worth it. So uh, anyway, until next time, again, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Thank you guys for subscribing, all you subscribers out there that have done so already. Thanks for joining the journey. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Okay, guys, so we'll see you then. Until next time, look after yourself, play your arcades, fix your games, and ciao for now.